Meet Lucy, a terrier breed puppy who lived a normal life enjoying the atmosphere of love shown by his community until the unexpected happened. Lucy went out to play with other dogs in the community one day and just about five days after, Lucy turned mad. Oops, our lovely Lucy has contracted rabies. How is that even possible? Can dogs really go mad? Follow us as we reveal the truth about the mad dog disease, rabies. This is Malady, exposing the pathways to disease control. Animals are lovely creatures with amazing benefits to humans and the environment. Nevertheless, they can be infected with deadly zoonotic diseases which can be transmitted to humans. Zoonoses are diseases that can affect animals and humans and an example of such is the mad dog disease, also known as rabies, which has over the years been one of dogs' greatest foes. Rabies is a deadly zoonotic viral disease that affects dogs and other mammals like humans, causing them to behave in a strange and irrational way. This illness is widely spread in various nations where it accounts for around 59,000 fatalities annually and dogs are responsible for 99% of its transmission to humans. Rabies is caused by lisa virus and it majorly targets the central nervous system, particularly the brain. Majority of rabid animals show signs of nervous system disorder which include loss of appetite, impatience, hyperactivity and unusual hostility. At the least provocation, the animal becomes agitated and may act brutally and aggressively by biting or clawing. Noise can trigger an assault, their eyes can suddenly become dilated and they will become anxious and vigilant. Young puppies will even bite when petted and turn violent in a matter of hours. Seizures and a lack of muscle coordination are frequent as the condition worsens and over time it can result in the death of the animal. They can spread infection to humans through bites, scratch or in rare cases if they lick an open wound or their saliva gets into a person's mouth or eyes. After the bite, the virus multiplies under the skin and travels along the peripheral nerves to the detention nervous system and thereafter to the salivary glands and other deep organs like the heart, kidney, skeletal tissue and the cornea. The continuous attack of the virus to the central nervous system leads to symptoms of rabies disease which include insomnia, anxiety, confusion, hallucinations, excess salivation or foaming at the mouth, difficulty in swallowing and breathing, fear of water, paralysis, coma and death. Rabies disease can be difficult to cure once it has developed in a person. However, immediate treatment after exposure will help to prevent the virus from entering the central nervous system and eventual death of the victim. If you are beaten or scratched by an animal in an area with high risks of rabies, ensure that you immediately clean the wound with soap and running water for a minimum of 15 minutes. Disinfect the wound with an alcohol or iodine-based disinfectant, apply a simple dressing if possible and go to the nearest hospital for a post-exposure prophylaxis vaccine. This deadly disease might not be curable but it is preventable. How, you may ask? Get an anti-rabies vaccine before working closely with animals or in a lab handling the rabies virus. Vaccinate your pets and keep them from roaming outside. Dogs and cats are expected to take an annual shot of vaccine after they are 3 months old. Report stray animals or any sign of an infected animal to animal control and avoid contact with dead or wild animals. Creating awareness of rabies prevention and control, educating people on dog behavior and bite prevention, immunization of people and animals can also help to prevent 
and reduce the transmission of rabies. Seeing one's dog act in a wild or irrational manner can be one of the worst experiences for dog owners. Therefore, taking necessary health and safety precaution is indeed paramount. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more enlightening videos on animal diseases. This is Ali Malia.